Hey dear love, I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, and welcome to your October Spiritual Guidance. This is your career focus. Watch out for the love focus and the health focus. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do about two and a half minutes of the Earth's energy, of the Spirit's energy, of the universe's energy. And then we're going to dive right into your personal star sign, moon sign, all of those signs energy all right so this is a month of sexual tension rechannel that to be productive and work for you all right you might just be needing to work on your own body get to learn yourself your hormones might be changing there's a lot of anger a lot of blow-ups waiting to happen so when you see people fidgeting get out of their way if you're the one that's fidgeting go rechannel that go work out go for a walk work with your hands and create something powerful and divine there's a lot of movement, a lot of a need to just function and to just be. So channel that into any kind of useful energy such as meditating, chanting, um, playing music, running, working out, playing with the kids, okay, playing a, a self game, whatever you need to do. But regenerate that, in, that energy. Um, there's a lot of anxious energy out there. Work on your goals. Uh, be determined to be successful. Become that business owner that you keep dreaming to be. The energy is there for you to succeed this month, but you've got to do the work. If you're trying to cut corners, it's not going to work. Power plays are out there. Don't be the one to get got, okay? You be the one to stay empowered in your authority, your personal authority, meaning self-develop. Be in charge of you. Make the changes you make within yourself. Don't try to force it on someone else, okay? The delays are real. Keep an eye on your keys. If the car is messing up, go get it checked out. Get second, third, seventh opinions. If you have to make a large purchase that you have not been researching, make sure that you bring someone you trust. Bring them in on the deal. Tell them the, what's going on. Trust them because they are your blessing in disguise and what they say is a message from the divine. Frustration is real. Disappointment is real. The shakeups are real. So watch your money. Reposition, refocus, re-strategize. Here you listen to this, okay? The peacemakers are causing waves. There's some that are lying. There's some that are real. You must use your intuition this month, okay? Get off the fence, make that choice to be successful, and you will be absolutely good. If you lie your way forward, you will fail, you will fall on your face. And spiritual superstars, you know that we don't ever want you to fail. We want you to be successful, and Divine Source truly does have your back. All right, let's get started. Hey, Taurus, welcome to your October spiritual guidance. Ready? Take a beautiful deep breath in and raise your vibration. Challenge your human. Deep, 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 deep. And relax. Thank you, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Taurus, I think that you're going to really see who your enemy is and what your enemy has been that's preventing you from your success and from that dream that you keep holding on to, the, the fruition of it. And I feel like you're going to really be aligned perfectly to start fresh, to really do what you need to do every day to make a new routine, You've got this new moon energy on the 16th in your health and wellness and everything that's self-loving to you. And uh, you also have our uh, full moon at the end of the month. So definitely paying attention to your ancestors here with ancestral knowledge and wisdom. And listen, when your name is being called, that is Divine Source reaching out to you, and that, those, that's how our ancestors reach out to us as well. Part of the animal kingdom is telling you, focus on self-love, and you deserve that unconditional love. So it's not always about the other person. 
and you can stand to be a little um, selfish, you know, healthy selfishness. You can stand to really give yourself that, but excuse me, at the end of the month, it's a great time to just release and uh, let go of the things that you've been hanging on to. That spirit is saying, you know, you don't need that anymore. You just don't need to hang on to this stuff that's in your suitcase, this luggage. Because at the beginning of the month, the 1st of October, first 72 hours, it's all about releasing that and um, really coming to terms with who is for you and who is not for you. And that's going to really talk to you about uh, your shadow self as well. So you're going to see all of that. When you feel with yourself kind of drifting in and out of whatever you're doing in that moment, you know, you have slipped into another dimension and it's okay. It's a beautiful thing because Taurus, you are absolutely psychic. Okay. So pay attention when the animal kingdom is reaching out to you, when a bird comes up to you, when a butterfly lands on you, when a dog or a cat kind of comes out of nowhere and it just stares at you as if you know, you're having this conversation. You really are. Um, and you, you know, when you, you're eye to eye with the different beings of this earth, but you're spirit to spirit with all energies. And so this is a time you come into October with some heavy energy, I think, that's going to be kind of around you. But don't claim it. Don't own it. You know, you listen to the intro. It's time for you to have some fun. Okay? Make it work for you. Come back into connection with your inner child and your career. Um, and definitely, our ancestors want you to carry on their legacy because it's your legacy. You are their legacy. However, you have the blessed opportunity to do it different. Okay, you have the opportunity to use your gifts to bless others and to innovate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And so you can let go of that burden. Oh, goodness. What a wake-up call. Waking up to your power. I love it. Thank you so much. Heavenly ancestors, thank you so much. Thank you so much for showing, de Ooh! showing dear Taurus. Their spiritual guidance. All right, so wake up to compassion for yourself. Let me close these blinds so that you can really see everything. I hope you can see it a little better. Maybe that didn't work. Didn't work too much. But this is uh, just show yourself that compassion as well as others, make sure that people are showing you the compassion. And you've got that power to make some things happen this month, okay? So that lightning is representing your inner power. And remember that because this is a tsunami wake-up call. So when you feel like you're at the eye of the storm, honey, you are have that fun so that spirit can take you out of it and into... Your empowerment. Remember the power plays and the struggles that are really around you. I feel like you're right here, the nucleus of it, and around you is really a lot of the struggle and the chaos. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But remember, the new moon for you around the 16th. Give yourself 72 hours thereafter is really helping you with a new plan in your career, a new strategy. And remember that it's okay for you to show up in your, in your power. It's okay to really show people that you are psychic. It's okay to show people really what you're made of, you know, and you can get unstuck and unglued to where you're at because if it's not if it's not fun for you if you what you're doing for a living is not working for you honey this is your wake up call to change it you know you find yourself in the eye of the storm 
through Taurus and redirect that compassion that you show everybody else in the universe back to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come into October releasing the baggage. Okay? Releasing the fear of your own success. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. I feel like many of you are so afraid to move towards your purpose. Not even just to, to own it, but just to move towards it. And you just have to take that one baby step. And Spirit is just telling you, you know, honor your emotions. Sit with yourself. This is our sacral chakra right here. And this is where we, where we really house our emotions, where we're active, where we're feeling motivated or not, if we're inspired or not. Um, humanitarianism. This is also where we show our affection. So you've got that here, and Spirit's telling you, turn it back inward and focus on you for a change, okay? And know that you don't have to absorb the negativity, the guilt that people are trying to make you feel. You can persevere and keep going forward to reach your success and not give up on yourself, no matter who's there to support you. Your wake-up call, remember that. There's seven steps to mastering your spiritual awakening. Okay, definitely get the book. If you haven't gotten the book, it, you definitely will benefit from it. The seven steps to master any spiritual awakening because this month you've got major energy to release from. And it is powerfully spiritual. We're not talking about your human energy of your physical action. We're talking about the direction you're getting through your spiritual guidance, through when you hear your name being called, through all of this, all of this spiritual experiences that you're receiving, through waking up early in the in the wee hours of the morning and trying your best to go back to sleep instead of doing the work that spirit's calling you to do. When you get that wake up call, Taurus. Spirit's telling you, wake up and do what I'm telling you to do, okay? And you've got this. You really are going to be blessed by realigning. And the legend here is don't quit before the miracle, okay? Shannon's carrot-colored cloak is a gift from a famous stage actress and she wears it always as a symbol of her own talent. One day, frustrated by the sacrifices she has made in her long pursuit of success, Shannon throws off the cloak and gives up her acting career. The great goddess tries to convince Shannon to put the cloak back on and stay the course, but she doesn't listen. Just around the corner, has she persevered was great success. Your inspiration, dear Taurus, this month is when we do our chosen work. What does Spirit say to you? We are serving the highest order. If we stop, we upset the universal balance. What you work towards will materialize. Do not fear your own success. You may not see it, but it lies ahead. Focus on your power. Your personal inquiry is, can I ignore the feelings that would sidetrack me? Will I let go of fear and persevere? Your key ideas to meditate are breaking through, unseen help at work. Remember, your, your ancestors are so on you right now, okay? When you feel their energy, you will know it. Feeling taken for granted, overcoming doubts. Keywords to meditate on and to build your affirmations are steadfast, success, and miracles. You got this. Keep 
a track of your emotions. You've got this. You've got this, dear Taurus. Remember that. You might be working with the animal kingdom. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Heavenly Ancestors. Thank you so much. I feel like Spirit's telling you definitely creative expression. And what you're going to be doing is working towards your family goals. What you want to do for a living, I see some of you in culinary arts. Honey, it's going to work for you. But dear loves, don't you stop based on what people are telling you. They see for you. It's not their call. All right. There's your creative expression that Spirit said you need in your life. Okay. Let me let you have a good look at that. All right. All right. You're an energy healer and you are healing from that negativity that people were trying to put in you. You don't have to own it. Remember that. Meditate. Give yourself a strong spiritual practice. And remember, justice is on your side. It will certainly work for you. All you have to do is take that next step. Thank you so much. Remember what I said earlier is that spirit was showing me you are super psychic, okay? So, you know, come in to October knowing that. Who spirit shows you as an enemy, believe that. Believe that you can release the baggage from all of the suitcases you've been carting around from house to house, place to place. Um, you know, you don't have to own anyone else's garbage. You just don't. You are so loyal. You are such a great friend. And you do not have to pretend in your place of, of business. You just don't. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. There's a, a little a little lizard or gecko on the wall for your reading. And you know that is very successful energy. That is abundant energy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And your your wealth, your fortune is already multiplying. Thank you so much. Justice is served. You own the world. All you have to do is master your emotions, your shadow energy, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Fortune is on your side, dear Taurus. I mean, the energy is... If you want to go into health and wellness, um, that, that you saw what Spirit showed you, around the 16th, you must make a step forward in that energy. It's amplified for you. Thank you so much. Spirituality. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Body work. Healing energy, Reiki. But I don't want you to stop there at Reiki because I feel like you've already looked into that. You've got to love what you do. You know that. And I feel like when you, when you focus on one modality, you get so stuck and you know that you should have moved a year ago. And then two years pass. And then you're still feeling like, oh, I should do something different. And you should. So be very careful about who you have around your energy. So you're releasing those enemies, definitely. Okay? You're not going to be deceived by people this month. I feel like it's going to hurt. I feel like it's going to really bother you to know who those people are. That spirit is saying no longer can be in your energy but the fear that you have of not being successful is just dubious it's faulty and you my love have come to this awareness that you can have what spirit keeps showing you is on the horizon for you okay Taurus 
I feel like in your career energy, you're afraid to make that next step. You're afraid to have the conversation. You're afraid that the idea is sound. You feel like it's a bad idea. Watch who you're talking to. Watch your communication. Because the disruptive energy that's around you, remember what Spirit said to you earlier, it's not your energy. You have to be defensive because they are judging your idea. It could be your spouse. It could be your partner. It could be your children. It could be your parent. It could be your best friend. Be careful because remember the hidden enemies are coming out. You're going to see who that is. And maybe someone jealous of you that you totally admire and respect. You've already researched this. You've already put in the work of checking it out. You've already checked posts. I feel like somebody came to you directly with an opportunity. I feel like Spirit just literally landed it to you in your lap. And I feel like you, you really sought it out. And in the end, Spirit was just like, okay, boom, there you go. Thanks for seeking it out. And now that you've been blessed with this, you're like, oh my gosh, what do I do next? You've got to get out of your own way. You've got to open your eyes to the realm of spirit, the unlimited possibilities, because you are limited, okay? But with God, all things are possible, and you're going to love what you do for a living. It works for you, so remember that. So as you go forward, which I believe you absolutely will go forward, blessed, aware that this, this is the right thing for you to be doing, the environment changes. Instead of being defensive, you start opening up to the support, the network that spirit already put you in. And you start realizing, oh my gosh, I am surrounded by people that really want to help me, that aren't asking of me, that aren't gimme, 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 gimme. They're saying, how can I help you? What do I, what can I do for you? And you know, the fear just kind of fades away of how you were stabbed in the back, how you were taken for granted, how you were taken advantage of before in your career, in your in your finances, how people were always, what can, can you give me this? Can you loan me that? Can you have the, can you, why don't you pay for it? You always got the, the big money. There go money bags over there. Oh, you got it. Why don't you pay for it? You got it. Can you, can you front me the money? All of that stuff over with. And all the stuff of you staying over and being the one that that does all the work when everyone else is, has left, you know, gone home. No, none of that. You are aware who the enemy is, what the enemy is, the employer, the manager, the friends, the family. And always start with self, okay? So get out of your own way. When you do that, you start to see that those people fall away. All right, it starts with you. You have to be the one to say, okay, you know what? I, I'm taking them daggers out of my bag, you know, and they're going to walk away from me. Now, my environment is nice and supportive. It is all that. It is not toxic anymore. I don't have to be defensive anymore. You know, I know this. I've studied it. I'm going to get behind it. I'm going to stay consistent and I'm going to put in the work. So that fear and your hope of making it and it being fruitful and successful is going to turn around and your hope is going to manifest because you're going to put in the hard work. Okay? And you are going to, um, you're hoping in the right way. Now, when you look at this, okay, this is in your hope for energy. What are you hoping for? You're hoping for it to be fruitful, for you to thrive and succeed, but you're focused on the money and you need to be focused on what you do to help other people. And that's how you're going to turn that right side up. And that's how spirit is going to pour you, pour down the blessings of abundance and just saturate you with all good things this month in your career and in your finances, okay? You're planting seeds of future wealth. This means that you are absolutely going to come into yourself by the end of the month on that full moon blessed energy that's all you. And you're going to say, I can do this. 
I don't have to cut corners. I don't have to um, have any false wins. I don't have to uh, deal with anything dubious or faulty or out of integrity. I don't have to focus on ego. I am letting that go. I am not going to be my worst enemy, Taurus. That's what your motto is. I am not my worst enemy. I am my best friend. And you've got yourself, you've got your back, right? And spirit's got your back, for sure. So let's go ahead and um, let's see what your animal spirit guide is. And this is a beautiful new deck by Colette Baron reed Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much, Heavenly Ancestors. And I keep hearing you are a winner. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You are a winner. You are a winner. Look at your transformation is beautiful with 11 karma right there. So every step you take is a new beginning. The butterfly, you're transforming into who you are becoming. Okay? This is a beautiful energy, Taurus. Your transformation is going to be at exceptional. Just magical and transformation is inevitable okay as you grow into your most beautiful self you're going to go through some uncomfortable stages you're going to go through the challenges but you know what you're no longer fit for the life that you keep trying to hang on to and every relationship must go through these changes too so every career change, every time you, you walk into your next blessing in your career path, remember you're in your spiritual awakening and that wake up call is for real. And so when you're waking up in the middle of the night, when you're waking up not only from 3 to 5 a.m., but when you're waking up in the moment of watching a TV show and Spirit says, look at the clock, and it says 7.07, and you know that what else is on your soul is you don't even want to watch that TV show anymore. You're just doing it out of habit. Well, mid-month is the time for you to create a new habit. So I want you to pay attention to when your ancestors reach out to you because, honey, they are helping you transform into who you are becoming. And the time is now. Remember, change is the only true constant. Everything else is a lie. When you resist it, you create tension within you as you refuse to accept the inevitable. You're being faced with a choice right now, dear Taurus. You can struggle with the way things are currently in your life, and you can refuse to surrender and transform, or you can go with it because you know that with the butterfly spirit, the Holy Spirit knows the beauty and the delight that you are on the brink of a blessing in your financial life. So let go and trust that abundance is there waiting for you. Now let's ask Divine Source for your affirmations of gratitude. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa, who came right on out for you? All right, this is your affirmation this month. I want you to write it in your journal. I want you to make sure you see that. Let me get away from the blinds there. All right, hopefully you can see that. All right, I have the attitude of gratitude for the ability to respond with integrity and self-respect towards all situations circumstances, events, and people in my life. Well, dear Taurus, thank you so much for allowing me to channel your spiritual guidance accurately and giving you what you need to have a powerful month of transformation. If there's anything that I can do for you, you know that we do have um, a scholarship coaching package available and uh, you just let me know. Click the links down below if you would like a reading. We've changed our pricing around because we've been so blessed and we want to pass that blessing right on 
to you. Thank you so much for your support and your love. And may Divine Source continually bless you and your family. All right, dear loves, I will talk to you very soon. Mwah. Love you, dear Taurus.